almost ready. I don't really feel like going out tonight, if that's all right. I know, I promise, but it's just a bad time. A bad time? It's always a fucking bad time for you, isn't it? Okay, this is the fifth time, Richard, the fifth time! Do you expect me to just sit around the house watching telly until you figure out how to be happy? Okay, when are you just gonna accept that you're- All I'm saying is, you shouldn't be so quick to judge. I think it's a perfectly reasonable way to conduct business. Your definition of business certainly become quite lax since our last conversation. Uh, no, oh, no. Yeah. Put yourself in their shoes, Max, yeah? Think about it. What would you do with all those copies? The cat in the hat on VHS? Not open a fucking store that no one's gonna visit. I just, just throw them Rob. away and smash them. Rick, please tell me you've got something more interesting to talk about than these two retards. Well, I hate to disappoint, but... I was kind of hoping you could take my mind off everything. How fun would it be to smash a hundred tapes of the cat in the hat? That'd take your mind off anything. Oh, will you drop it? Okay, fella. I'm fine. I can call you a taxi or something, man, if you're not feeling it. Yeah, get yourself away then. I said I'm fine.
you, Richard. I said, don't fuck with me. Well, mate, can you give me on with these uh, videos if you're not too busy with that? Okay. I mean, traditionally, people do kind of take the skin off those before they eat them, yeah, but who am I to judge? In, you, you might actually be able to find a nut who wants as many copies of Cat in the Hat. You know, ship them off. No, we don't want to get rid of them. That way, Ian can do whatever amazing, fantastical problems it is that he's been planning. Oh god, you're not planning on building a bloody Eiffel Tower out of them, are you? Oh, shut the fuck up, both of you. Honestly, please just help me open these boxes. Come on. Oh, one of these things is not like the others. No, no, that's um, that's that's mine. I don't know how they got. Well, I think now's a good enough time as ever to bring this up. Bring what up? Well, um, myself, Max and Ian have been talking quite a bit recently. About me? Oh, mate, you can't say you don't give us the opportunity. You're literally never around anymore. And when you are, you're like this secretive, paranoid fucking mess. Honestly, it's like having a druggie who doesn't share. Ian? Yeah. Please. Rick, we're here for you. Whenever you want to get anything off your chest, you know what to do. It just doesn't feel like we're in the loop anymore. I mean, I don't think any of the three of us have seen Linda in the past three months. Linda and I... Perfectly fine. Well, I think we should take our cats in the hat elsewhere. Let's Richard? What? Well, if you're gonna speak to me like that, you can fucking do this yourself. What? No, Linda! I don't know what happened to you, Richard. You used to be so sweet. I'm sorry!
sessions with really loud noises. I can't control my life anymore because in the heart it's like I won't lie, Linda, this is, this is pretty strange. <sighs> pretty strange is not giving this situation nearly enough credit. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Did you call the police? Yeah, they came this morning, but there's no signs of a break-in, so... I think they think that I wrote it for attention or something. And did you? Can you not see our friends in distress, <laughs> insensitive prick? Sorry. Like, I think I've read the whole thing about five times now. All 11 pages. Now it's fucking backwards at this point. Another round, ladies. There you go. Ian, what? fuck off. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know a Richard. I mean, to you. No, I, I never have. Well, I know Richard. Yeah, yeah, he's my accountant. He's probably, oh, he must be about 70 now. Yeah. Oh, do you think he might have died? Huh. Going out for fag, Max? Yes, he's man choking. Look, I don't understand how you guys can be so lax about this. You're in it as well. Oh, am I? God, I might actually have to read it now. Just keep it warm for me while I go for a quick thing. I'll come with you, lads. Tell you about my new business venture. So basically, what we do is we buy about 100 VHS copies of The Cat in the Heart, 